it's just magical. And I think, you know, magic will never lose its magic. It's always going to be a beautiful story. It's an interesting new slant, I would say, yeah. uh, on the whole story because Hook in this is is kind of rather uh, in, enamoured of Smee. Yeah. So yeah. I don't think that I've never seen that before. No. It's good. Yeah, and he's sort of very reverential of Captain Hook, and they have this kind of quite sweet codependent relationship with each other. Wendy, Wendy, I've come to rescue you. Oh, Peter, I knew you would. Oh, the others, Peter, the boys. Um. Why are you wearing a wig? It's one of Hook's cast-offs. It looks terrible. The boys are all safe for now. I've seen them all. We're armed to the teeth and about to launch an attack. Oh, Peter, is it safe? I mean, it's been a, a great experience yeah. to do such an iconic story. Definitely. It's yeah. been absolutely amazing. And, uh, you know, for such a good cause as well. Yeah, our relationship is definitely interesting. There's the, there was that big scene kind of near to the end where we, where we had a kind of a, a really kind of in-depth yeah. Look at me. I mean, like how yes. uh, and how I saw our relationship, my relationship with the rest of the crew, which is kind of very quite modern. I mean, it was quite a modern kind of look into how people saw everything. Yeah, and, and uh, Captain Hook has a has a moment of uh, self inquiry, <laughs> which uh, it puts him, which me has to sort of draw him out of a little bit. So he's questioning a lot of things. And that's quite a funny, funny scene that they have. It's everything you could want. It's pirates and adventure and it's choosing to not grow up or choosing to grow up. And I don't think anybody could not like this. Nobody wants to grow up. Exactly. Really. So I think everyone can relate to that. Yeah. Can't we all just fly off together and leave these dreaded pirates to it? No. This time I'm going to trounce them. I'm going to sort them out once and for all. What are you doing? I'm going to take your place here. And with this wig on, they'll never see who I really am. And you can go join the others and conceal yourself till they break out of hiding. All right. But it all seems a bit dangerous. <laughs> well, that's all the fun. I live um, right next to the hospital, so I've been quite involved with it uh, over the last uh, 25 years. So uh, this was an important reason for doing it. I think Peter Pan's an interesting, as it was given to the hospital by um, Barry, um, it's, a, it's an interesting idea for kids that are sick because uh, there's a, obviously there's kind of loneliness and isolation in a way when you're ill. And Peter is a very also lonely and isolated character. He's a, he's a character that's constantly forgotten by the children he meets. Uh, Wendy and Michael grow up. And uh, when they uh, grow up, they can't remember having known him before. I think he's a wonderful image for children who are going through you know, hard times with illness. So it's a lovely story to tell for them. It's done so much for the hospital. And I think in terms of cheering children up and making them feel like you know, it's something that they can hang on to. Mm -hmm. It's amazing, isn't it? Yeah. 